Hello everyone, uh, Brian here. Uh, this time I'll be reviewing my Gerber Bear Grylls Basic Survival Kit. But if you're like me, uh, this is anything but basic. And the words stock are not in your dictionary. Instead, you hear the words souped up or modded. So, in this case, let's get down to it. To begin, I have the whistle that was attached to my Ultimate Bear Grylls Survival Knife. It's attached to what is what people have been having problems with is the zipper. Some people say they can't close the zipper all the way. I guess I got lucky. Mine does go all the way in. However, I will not say this pack is completely waterproof. Water does have a tendency to leak in. Number two, the zipper here, it is bending. So in the event, and when this will snap, I got the lanyard at least to uh, cover that. So let's get right into it and open it up. To start, I got my 550 power cord. Uh, you may see the 550 paracord on my bracelet as well. Um, I just can't have enough of this 550 paracord, to be honest with you. You can use that for anything, you know, lashing things together, making shelters. Uh, right here is another thing that I have in there. Um, it is a uh, broken rubber band. Uh, what I can tell you about this is that they make excellent tourniquets uh, when you're out in the field. It helps a lot. I'm EMT trained, so... Anything that I can use uh, to my advantage, I will put in my kit. Next up is what I like to call my lucky charm. Uh, this is the very first very CM rod that I've ever owned. Um, I've used it on metal. I've used it on rocks to create fires. Uh, you can probably see from the uh, deep grooves here uh, from, from that. Use anything to my disposal. Uh, lately, though, I did pick up a new fire steel as well, and it came with a fire steel striker from firesteel.com. Uh, they're an excellent company. They make excellent fire steels that produce uh, sparks at 5,500 degrees Fahrenheit. I have some cotton. Uh, I'm not sure where the rest of the uh, cotton went. It's probably in the bottom of my pa uh, bag here, so we'll find that sooner or later. Yeah, you know what that's for. Okay, another thing that here that I have in my kit is a big fat must I think everybody should have. Um, it is, as you guessed it, a magnifying glass with tweezers attached to it. A must. Um, and I got to tell you, I've used this about maybe four or five times for demonstration purposes and two different other times for an actual emergency. And yes, to my niece, a splinter is an actual emergency. Uh, next up, I have homemade char cloth. I won't take it out of the bag because it gets really dirty really quickly. I got some cotton balls in here. Um, still haven't found the other cotton balls I have here, but I have a lot of I have a lot of char cloth that I like to make and um, put in the bag. It's a great way to catch a spark, any kind of spark, the lowest kind of spark, you name it, and it'll light up pretty quickly. Next up, after that, in this pack, I have. Something of technology of today. This is actually the disc from a hard drive. Uh, it makes a great signaling device. Uh, it's very reflective. Um, I've been told that you can actually make use this to start fires as well. Um, I'll be honest with you, I have not tried it yet. Also, as you can probably guess, I have the space blanket here. Uh, not necessarily to cover myself up. I mean, you can, obviously, but it actually is great to put inside your shelter to reflect heat back to your body. Also, I have uh, four iodine tablets uh, for, you know, obviously water purification. And then I have two more extra fire steel rods here. You, um, in my book, you can't have more, you can't have enough fire steel. Uh, I've lost many on occasion. And we'll have to start fire the old fashioned way, rubbing two sticks together with a string. Okay, so the basic kit. Um, well, this is still kind of uh, changed out, so I'll just uh, go ahead and open that up. You got some cordage here, uh, again for lashing stuff. I added some Strike Anywhere matches. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I'll see if I can zoom up and focus on that. But I have some fishing line wrapped around that to aid in my fishing kit
Um, in this fishing kit, uh, I have everything that you need except sinkers. Now, people said, why don't you have sinkers? Well, I've been known to make sinkers out of stones and other things that are around. Uh, I don't feel like I need to have those, but if I can pick some up, I'll probably just go ahead and just throw them in the bag if they're not that heavy or that big. Aha! More cotton balls. This is actually two cotton balls compressed. <coughs> Sorry folks, I'm a little sick today. Um, I have a cheap flat whistle uh, that came with the kit. Uh, it's loud, it's cheap, and it can break. Um, like I said, having a backup of a backup is really good. It's uh, always been one of my models is always have a backup. This is loud, but when I think about it, if you're in the middle of the forest and no one is actually actively searching for you at the moment, no one's really going to hear you. It's best to have a signal fire. One of my personal favorites is the Gerber Paraframe Mini Knife. Um, it can do just as anything as this bigger brother can. Uh, it's just a great to have a backup knife. Uh, you can lash it to anything you want. Snare wire. Very good. I always like to use wire over string and one of the reasons is that it cuts into the throat of your uh, game quicker. Uh, in my, that from what I've seen, other people uh, say otherwise, but and then my opinion uh, differs sometimes. Mini sewing kit. Um, I don't know how to sew clothes, but I do know how to go ahead and give oneself some stitches when I nearly lopped off half part of my finger. I also have given my stitches myself some stitches here, and I also give myself some stitches here in my thumb. Um, I'm an active martial artist, so getting cut with samurai swords and knives uh, while in practice is a big thing, and I don't like paying the high doctor fees. So being EMT trained, I know how to give stitches. So big plus for me here. More cotton balls that came with the kit, plus a yet another ferrocium rod. This is the uh, original Bear Grylls ferrocium rod that came with the kit. Um, it's not the the striker is not the cool looking one. That looks like kind of an X, but you know, hey, that's all right. As you can tell, I have not used this one yet. But um, if I need to, I know it's there. Cotton balls. The matches that came with the kit, plus the striker. Wax string. Um, you could probably make this for snares, lash stuff. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using this kind of uh, grade to uh, make a shelter. Um, but as you can see here, it's very waxy. You can flatten it, and you pretty much can mold into anything. Now, a big must that a lot of people miss a lot in their uh, uh, pockets of Rival Kit are uh, pain medicines. Uh, in my case, this is Aleve. It's my choice of uh, pain medications I like to use. Uh, I... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I, I have a bunch of this in my car, too, when I uh, have those nasty headaches. And then, last but not least, the Bear Grylls Priorities of Survival Guide. Um, nice guide, made out of plastic. I have yet to open it up. No, correction, it is open. Okay, well, I haven't used it. Um, if you look at the other Bear Grylls, one that I have used on occasion, uh, it's actually inside my uh, Ultimate Survival Knife. The one thing I did not like about this kit was this bag. The bag has torn a wide, bloody open. Um, it still holds everything, but it's anything but waterproof. And then as usual on the back of the bag, you have uh, your Alpine rescue signals. So that's it. That's everything that fit into this little bag here. And uh, I will talk to you soon when I make my next review. All right, this is Brian, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.